week, a new quarterback, right? I mean, so how, how are you guys kind of getting acclimated to having a different voice in the huddle and under center? Uh, we're just trying to encourage him and, you know, give him as much support as possible, uh, knowing that both of them are young and coming into a hostile environment this weekend. So just, you know, letting them know we're putting all our trust in them and uh, we think highly of them and they can make the play and they can make a ball out. So just putting that trust in them and letting them know we're on their side and we got their back. You mentioned the environment. Just how you deal with 100,000 people speaking against you? Same way you deal with this. It's, it's, it's just football, really. Uh, I feel like once you get on the field, just 11 on 11. I mean, the crowd plays, plays, you know, especially being away, it plays in the factor as well. But, I mean, when you're going out there executing and you get on them early, uh, so it won't be no noise. So that's what we that's what we want to do. We want to go out there and get on them early uh, and then just play our best ball. How has Mike kind of handled the, the transition this way going from to being the starter as a true freshman? Uh, I think Mike's doing good. Uh, he always is a guy who... You know, having Blake been a, been a, the leader, he's he's took up back to him. Him and Chris both been they're always in the in the film room. So um, the preparation part is not not different for either one of them. It's just now they're just in a position where they just you know they got to lead lead the team. So I feel like he he did a good job, especially today, just coming out there being being loud, being vocal, um, getting the guys along. So did Chris. They they both I think they both did their thing. You've had a little bit of time now to play with Mike. Last year you got to play some with Chris. So. How did you receivers as a group help these guys ease into this now larger responsibility? Uh, I think the way we, you know, we ease them into this, like the ball comes over, we just make the play. Uh, I think that, that gives them the confidence where they can go out there and just play freely, knowing that they got some guys on the outside that can, you know, that makes the play when the ball in the air. So, uh, you know, just, just, just making all the plays that we can to, make, to you know, give them the utmost confidence in, in us as a receiver group. And overall, it just helped the offense. What's Mike like just as a person, you know, just away from, you know, when fans are able to watch him on the field, what's he like to say? It's like a little brother, Mikey. We just call, you know, we call him Mikey, but uh, <laughs> he's a cool, laid back, real laid back guy. Uh, you know, he played at San Francis you know, out of high school, which is a competitive ball. So, he, you know, he's not, he's used to playing highly competitive teams. A lot of the guys that he's, you know, he's going against, he's probably played a couple of them in high school. So he's, you know, he's not, he's not really, I don't think the moment is going to be too big for him. He got a, he's a guy who has a lot of confidence in his, in his ability, and he works extremely hard, both of them, him and Chris. How do you feel like his skill set, and I guess Chris's too, uh, differs from Blake's uh, in terms of you know, catching passes and running routes from them? Uh, I feel like they're both, uh, I don't know. I, I really feel like they're all similar. Uh, I think Chris and Mike are a little bit more mobile. Uh, they can, you know, get out on the edge and run a little bit. But as far as, like, just playmaking, uh, I feel like they they all can throw the ball. We all know that. Um, it's just I think the biggest difference in just having from Blake and uh, CP and Mike is just having that six that that fifth year that leader that's seen a lot of ball and had a lot of experience. Whereas you know the young guys haven't had as much experience, so it's a little bit different from them being in this position. What are your receivers telling Blake now that he's kind of become almost an assistant coach at this point in quarterbacks? Uh, we're just trying to give him uh, like the most support we can, you know, just being there for him, making him laugh, cheering him up, playing with him, just like, you know, trying to treat him normal, not trying to make it such a big deal to him because, you know, it's probably already a lot for him. So just trying to make it as normal as possible so where he just feels comfortable just being around and stuff.